We work with many VPs of HR, and uh, depending on the size of the company, very often you have different levels of sophistication, different levels of education, just like you, you would imagine. And one of our larger clients um, has a fantastically talented and knowledgeable VP of HR. Um, th this woman was um, worked at and was trained with some of the largest organizations in America, and she brings that knowledge and experience. And we've had an opportunity to work with her, with her team, She's had all of her team members go through the exercise and we've worked with them to help them better understand. But as it relates to the people that we are helping her organization with, which are mostly going to be field level people and marketing department people, she doesn't need to know. She doesn't need to know the nature of the personality. She doesn't need to know, is that person more patient or impatient, more collaborative or non-collaborative. She doesn't need to know how the manager lines up with the person. She needs to know that we are delivering a quality professional service to her team, and she knows that. And she needs to know whether managers are embracing it or she then needs to help them with that. More than anything, our client is the hiring manager. No matter what the position is, whether it's a marketing director, whether it's a sales leader, whether it's a customer success, the manager that is bringing on that new hire, that's the person that needs to know. They need to know the nature of the personality. They need to know whether the person is patient or impatient. Are they fact-oriented or intuitive? How that person communicates? What motivates that person? That person needs to know that because that person owns the success of the new hire. And that information can allow them to be a more effective leader. And so, Kelly doesn't need to know, and she knows that, and her managers do need to know, and you do too. Thanks.